Hello, welcome back. This is Georgie Cards and Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. I can't remember my new name now. Well, today I'd like to show how I made this card. This card I'm using a uh, free DSP from Celebration. Might as well get it in before. Um, well, it doesn't retire really till June, but you know what I mean. Use it while you can still get it. Um, yes, so to make this card, I've used some DSP, I can't remember what it's called without going to look, from the celebration. So I have got here a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, a piece of navy card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, a piece of DSP at five and a half by three and three quarters a piece of navy at two and a half inches by four inches and a piece of white at two and three eighths by three and seven eighths it goes on like that and all these little bits will stamp and cut out apart from the punching bits which I've already done these were actually in my maybe one day later box these I have punched out I have brought the punch punched out from this twig punch and I punched these out in seaside foam or oh, yeah seaside foam this color and petal pink be three. How many did I put on? Three. I'm missing one. Never mind. We'll sort it out. And a night and navy from the night and navy leaf from this punch, which I believe is retired now, but I'm still using it. So I've got one of them in night and navy. These we stamp. And the leaf behind we cut out with the dies and this we stamp and then free cut it fussy cut it by hand so and I've got no stamps out that's not very good is it so we need this one it's a birthday Big block for the happy. A big block for this one. Small block for that one. What else have I used? That's it, stamp wise. And dies, we need this big leaf. These two little leaves, this flower and this big flower. So let's do some stamping first shall we. So we need to put that there so I can see what I'm doing. Put them over there and we need to scrap up. I've got this big bit of white and we need to stamp this flower first in seaside spray I've still not got my order today's date is the 7th of February and I'm still waiting on an order to come right that's that one and this one, let me see if I can do it at the side. So if I put that there, I don't know if it's the right way yet. And then that one, yeah. So all I did with the white one is stamp the inside. And then I place that so that's in the middle, like that. Because I wanted a white flower. 
we get the Night and Navy ink. And we just use the same stamp there to stamp in the middle of that one, like that. And then we get our oh, happy but happy. And we just stamp that there. Like that. Nope, keep that out because we need that. We need to bring our rectangle bit in and with the word birthday we're going to stamp that at the bottom here. Like that. I think that's our stamping done. So, scissors and some big scissors. Let's cut these out ready to be die cut. That's all right, don't need that. We don't need that no more. Right. With our scissors, we shall obviously cut this happy. I took that a bit wide. And just go round the word. hard doing it when it's not close to you. I can't believe that I've not got my stamping up order yet. Terrible. Every day they change the date of delivery. It's now, as of today, supposed to come the 11th of September, uh, February. Oh, before I forget, I want to wish Moira, my car pal, a happy birthday. Her birthday was the same day as mine yesterday. So happy birthday, Moira, for yesterday. Hope it wasn't too bad. I had plenty of visitors to the footpath. They knocked the door, run out the gate, leave my gifts at the door, and run out the gate and stand on the path talking to each other. It's my daughters. I've got some birthday gifts to come, some stamp sets. So my sister ordered me a stamp set, and my husband gave me money to order a stamp set. And needless to say, 
und er bekommen. Also got a bunch of um, a box full of crafty stuff of my husband. He raided my Amazon wish list and bought me a load of stuff I'd put in there. Um, got none of it here next to me. happy done. Get rid of them. Bring in the cutting plates and let's cut these out. Wrong way. Aha. No tape. Let me just get a bit of tape. <sighs> Got it attached to my big shot. the reel of tape. I just like to rip a bit off. So there's one flower. Bin like this one which is easy to cut, you just put the die in the middle also the stamens in the middle uh, cut that out there's our nice little flower Next bit we've got to do is cut soft sea foam for this big leaf and that fits on there nicely and I also need two of these little leaves so Finish with that. I've lost my pokey tool. Stab myself with it. Right. Don't need these no more, so they can stay on there. Poke all these out. And we have our leaf. 
quite pretty that. And these two little leaves. So that's all them and our punchy bits and our leaf. Let's just twist these up and find another way of doing it. Just to give them a bit of lift. Just put my tweezers in and twisting it round the tweezers and it gives it a bit of lift. So we can put this card together now. Need some glue. Right. Glue the small piece onto the light and navy. And then glue. DSP on. Like that. And then glue this onto the card. Right, this piece is actually glued down. I was going to put it on dimensionals, but I put the flowers on dimensionals instead. So, let me make sure I've got this the right way. Yeah. So that would be just my luck to put it the wrong way. Right, now the triple leaf we put down first, just with a little bit of glue. I just glued down the middle of each stem. And laid that down. Like that. Right, and I want this flower there, just show a little bit of that leaf there. So this will go on some large dimensionals, I'll put on three. And this only needs two mini. One on this petal, like that. My husband's just showing me his snow boots. As we have snow here today. Like most of England's covered in snow. Right. Now then, with these twig, I don't know what they're called, I can't remember. Let me see what they're called. I've been thumbing through this 
um, catalog sprig. Right, it's called the sprig punch. I've been thumbing through this catalog to find stamp sets that have been carried over from the 1920 catalogue into the 2021 catalogue you know to find something to do get up the one that gluing down right and I'm going to stick that under there like that with one of these little leaves on this side and I'm going to put this little leaf down here there right we've got another two sprigs Just glue them together. And then some glue underneath and pop them under there. Get down. This one it did have a bit of green to go with it, but I don't know where it's gone. I'll pop that under there. And then the blue leaf will also go under there. Like that. I'll better leave that out because I need a couple of mini dimensionals for the happy which is going to go across there but I do put a half, a mini on the P and the H loop and a bit of glue in the middle and then that put a spot of glue there just to stop it from sticking up and the same on this end be like that if you do shall I put some gems on I never put gems on this one um, I'll see what I did I put two pinks that side and mind I like that let's put some gems on um, no nope, silver where's my silver ones Some on, put three. So we'll put one there, one there, and one there. This one as well. One, one, one. There we are. Don't be like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. 
you'd like to see more of my cars, no, don't worry, stop. I didn't do one inside. So, let's put this, what did I do inside? Ah, oh, this stump. This is just a lone stump I've got, I don't know what. I don't think it's a stamping up stamp. And I just put it, all it says is wishing you the most beautiful day. And I just stamp that in the middle. Like that. And then we pop that inside. Better because that one's got one in as well. There we are. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.